We had three fish die. Good boy. On Chris! Chris! Oh my god, look at the size of this! It's re Oh my god! Let's, Let's catch him up! Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish! Catch him up! Guys, we have a weird problem. So, there's coin in here. There's this Tambaki, right? Tambaki's doing good. He's not messing with the koi, he's not chewing on anybody. And we all know that the Tambaki and Paku can last with red tail catfish. Now, we also know that Paku do like to chew on, uh, not half breeds usually are good, but the original, see that just striped catfish down there? That is an original Tiger Shovel Nose catfish. And the Paku do like the taste of that, just like they like the taste of these solid gold koi fish. And arowanas usually are just fast enough to get away. But the issue that we're having is that we had three fish die. Now, three fish being really hardy fish. Now, one of them was a Tiger Shovel Nose catfish. The other one was a half breed. And the other one was a purebred red tail catfish. Now, these guys are very hardcore. Even the baby one can just hang with the strongest that's the most aggressive fish ever. Like this guy right here, Nuggy. That is 42 inches of pure muscle. This is an iridescent catfish. The albino one is also iridescent. And the koi are super soft. But as you can see, there's no, there's no chewing. There's no marks on the koi. There's no marks on our iridescence. No, no red fins, nothing. So that means it was not our Paku. Our Paku is good. This is also not a red belly Paku. This guy is a Tambaki which eats nuts and has a higher tolerance of low oxygen. So the mystery right now is what's killing our fish. These guys are all eating well, properly. Everyone's good. They're, we do have a rip saw, however, down here. Look, they're very hungry, excited for food. Hello, everyone. We do have a rip saw catfish that's eating. Where are you? Down there. That, now that guy has a lot of spikes, very spiky, but they're not like, they're not biting. They're not just like going at each other. There's no bite marks on any of these fish. Now I could just be like, okay, maybe it's Nuggy. He was in the wild. We caught that thing in the wild and he was tearing things up, but it's not Nuggy. And while I was out of town, it always seems to have a fish die. It's so weird. It's almost like the fish are just like sad and they just die out of just missing me. It's weird. It's really weird, but I don't know what the issue is because there's no red marks. The water is perfect, flowing from the lake, water is pushing in hardcore, secondary pump doing its thing. Everything has been perfect for the weeks I've been absent, and it's not Nuggy. I thought it might be Nuggy because Nuggy is relatively new, and Nuggy is a monster. As you can see, that thing is huge. But having no Paco in here keeps the oxygen levels very high. These brand new koi fish are doing just fine, and there was no evidence of any marks, anything aggressive, like really tearing them up. As you can see, this is a very, de very delicate fish. Nothing wrong with it. Just weird, I don't know. But we had an adventure out there in Louisiana. I wanna show you, this has been absolutely ridiculous. And we're gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm just gonna feed some of these fish. I have some of their hot dogs. This is their favorite treat. Between tilapia, hot dogs, stuff like that. Come here, guys. I'm gonna see if we can get them a little closer. Maybe, Maybe we can have an idea of what's going on. Here, buddy. Look. Here, buddy. Woo! Oh my god. Now the friend is here to go. Just tap me a little bit. Here you go. Here you go, honey. Here you go. Woo! Oh, the Oscar got that piece. But it's so weird. It's just so weird that this is happening. Oh yeah, good boy. Now that's a hybrid right there. That thing is a monster too. It's just, it doesn't really make sense to me why those fish died. It just makes no sense. Now this is just a treat for them because they really like this. Let's see if we can look at that arowana going through. Okay. Toby caught that thing. <laughs> Here you go, Bobo. See if they get the little guy. Little guy, come on. Oh, 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 Get, 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 yeah, he got it. There you go, monster. See, you can almost see 
Good boy. Good boy. I'm trying to see if there's any scarring on these fish, but there's really not. They look pretty good. That, that guy is missing a whisker, but he always has has had that scar that was raised by a wild world farley. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But these guys have been doing good. The koi fish are usually a telltale sign if something's having an issue. And it's not the smaller fish. That's the thing. It's the biggest fish that died. It's the biggest one of each species has died. Aside from Nuggy, this guy's good. Aside from Nuggy, wherever Nuggy is. Where'd Nuggy go? Nuggy. Nuggy's right there underneath the float. But it's the biggest species. Now, the, the smaller red tails are alive. We had our biggest red tail catfish. Our second biggest hybrid, that's Nuggy right there. It, which it replaced, this is our biggest hybrid now, hybrid uh, red tail tiger shovel nose hybrid. And we had, our, so our second biggest hybrid, our biggest red tail catfish died, and our biggest purebred tiger shovel nose, which is this species right here. But that beautiful pattern just looks like exactly like a tiger. Amazing. So I don't know what the issue is, but it's not a disease. There's nothing wrong with their bellies. Nothing like that. And they're all good. I don't know. I just have I have no idea what the real issue is, but I oof, <laughs> got a spider web on the camera. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, we, we gotta figure it out. That all happened while I was away. It's almost like they legitimately just missed my missed my company and just perished. But I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Until then, I wanna show you guys some of the adventures that I did have while in Louisiana, so check this out. It's crazy alligators, giant fish, insane, stacked up next to each other. It was kind of unsafe, but we made, we made it happen with our friend Chris. And look at this. I started talking, and there's crazy gar rolling every five seconds, and all the gators are coming down. Oh my God, that's a giant, oh my God, it's a giant alligator gar. Oh my God, that's another one. Oh my God. And there's gators all throughout this whole canal. Like, insane. Look at this thing. Look at them all. Oh, my God. And that's an alligator gar again. Look at all the alligators. It's... Oh, my God. The, the, the gator gar just smacked the crap out of the alligator. It, it didn't even phase it. That one right there is 10 feet long. These are solid gators, dude. And they're all coming down the canal because they hear me talking. Look at them all. Look, that was a giant alligator girl. Look at all the gators coming down the canal hearing me talk. What the heck? And I'm just going to walk away. This is, I also don't want to die. I mean, this is insane. Wow. Just incredible. The amount of fish rolling, giant fish and giant alligators. Nah. Nah, that's crazy, dude. Let's see what's over here. Oh, my God. Dude, this is massive. What? <laughs> this is a lake? Yeah. This is a lake, guys. This is a lake punch and ton train. <laughs> I think we're gonna try to get some mullet. Look at all the birds out there. What the heck? We gotta follow that man. Dude, it smells horrible. What do you think killed all this? Just the, just, the rain? Just getting pumped through. Oh my gosh. So they got pumped through and then the, the water pressure just pumped, killed them? Tore them up, yep. Tore them up? Yep, pumped, tore There's them one up. in here we found. Cut the bad section off. Yeah. Ugh. That'll be a good bait though. What? There are several good baits actually. I could probably get five or six baits out of one that big. Nice. Look, there's a big one right there. Look at that thing. That's solid, dude. I'll throw on. Uh, you can't pass that we'll thing see up. How he looks. What is it? We're gonna see how he looks. That it's looks kind of gross. Another big shad. <laughs> it looks kind of. He looks gross. Kind of gross. Shad. He looks very gross. But we're gonna find out. Yeah. We're gonna find out. Something it. looks like it bit in half. We got him. Yeah, not let it fall down too far, <laughs> or else I get rocks. Yeah, right. Oh, he's missing his head. What? missing the head section. What? That's why he looks so funny. No, nah, he's still pretty fresh actually. He looks good, dude. He's missing his head. Not bad. Is well, it gross? How gross is it? Ew. Nah, he's still good. Bro. <laughs> he's about to eat that thing. Let's see. Let's see how fresh it is. Section off. 
Oh, dude, that thing is prime. Oh, yeah. That's oh, that thing is prime, that. dude. That thing is fresh as it gets. It was definitely just died today. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. Dude, hell yeah. Get rid of that nasty That's section. That's some good bait. So we're going to use this big old giant chunk of fish as bait. Thank you. No fishing required. Just picking up the dead stuff. That is sick. We'll see if we can catch some giant with just that. Guys, as you can see, I got the umbrella behind me. And we got the man, the myth, the legend, Chris. He's got nothing but a treble hook. I'll show you that setup in a second. But we're out here fishing really high off the water. Whoa, look yeah. back up. My bad, my bad, bro. Really high, really high off the water because there are gators all over the place right here. There's another big one. Oh, it was just up here. We'll see him, I'm sure. But there's been a lot of fish activity, a lot of it. And we're gonna try to catch actually some bait, but we might catch something huge because I have seen a lot of crazy fish rolling out here. Right next to that, right next to that boy. Yeah, we don't want you. <laughs> We're going to see what happens today. As you can see what he's doing, and he's just swinging that big old pole and tr hoping that he catches something. Oh, he just got it right now. Oh, my God. Dude, that thing. Look at the wake on that thing. No, it was. No. It was massive. Oh, my God. So that's what he's casting. I'm just gonna try to film and, and not miss. Oh! You just hit another one. You just hit another one. I'm trying my best to not miss the action. I see the wake. You can see the wake because the fish that we're after right now are so big. And I've been seeing them come up, like left and right, but it's really hard to capture on the camera because as soon as you start filming, the fish don't want to come up. <laughs> That's what it is. So let's see if we can get this guy. Oh! No! You're on right now. Say you're still on. Oh, I didn't even pause the camera, nothing, dude. So, he, oh, what, what, pound, what pound test are you on right now? A hundred. A hundred? It's not very big, but I think it is bait. Oh, my God. Let's see if we can get this around. He's going to have to flip or die. No, it's a buffalo. Oh, yeah. Little buffalo. Oh, on the face? Yeah. Dude, you made that thing. That thing wanted to eat. That's not quite what we wanted. Look at that. Not but bad, Chris. At least. <laughs> right out. Yeah, nice. We'll take we that. Wanted. We'll take that, huh? Uh, he's going back in. He's going back? Yeah, that's not what we're after. Goodbye, my friend. What a nice snag, though. How about that? <laughs> we're using a big old three eyed shrimp, as you can see. Gator, so gator style hook. That big old thing right there. And uh, those fish are gonna bite. <laughs> guys, oh my god. Do you guys know I'm out here? in Louisiana hunting alligators on the TV show Swamp People. Hey, History Channel every night at 9. <laughs> on Thursday nights at 9. But this is a giant gator. We might have a new spot. Oh my God. Chris, this looks like a crocodile, dude. This is one of the biggest alligators I've ever seen. Guys, look at the size of this thing. I can zoom in. Oh, his whole back was out of the water. I turned the camera. And he went down. He's trying to eat me. All right, we're fishing a little closer to where this gator was. That was a big old long nose. Yeah. But I'm trying. This is this is high enough. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, don't get wrapped, boy. Dang, hundred pound test, boy. That is a monster. Oh my gosh. Look at the wake. The wake on that thing. Oh, Chris. That's all you, Bubba. I don't know how we're gonna get this thing up. Walking down. You're gonna walk down? Yeah. I hope that gator is trying to eat us, dude. Just so you know. This is a big fish. Just give him that fish and say goodbye. Cause that gator was huge. Look at that line running. This is, oh yeah. Dude, that is, oh my gosh, that's a nice one. Dude. I landed one right here last week. How, too slick right can now. you flip it? I, I can no. snag it with my other rod, 150, and get it up probably. We're going to walk him down there. There's a place where the bank comes down. Okay. Because that is a huge fish, but, bro, that gator was like, that gator's probably right here right now. That thing was massive. Oh, crap. Fire ants. Fire ants? Yeah. All over that foot. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All over. Uh-oh. Dang. 
Meanwhile, this fish is splashing right here, and it is one of the biggest carp I have seen caught or been a part of. That is huge. You gonna reach that? Dude, this is so sketchy. Oh my god, there's a gator. Thank, thank God. It's far away, Chris. You're good. Yeah, he's way over there. That is a... That is definitely a 10 and a half plus. I thought it was 12. There you go. There you go, my friend. The gator is definitely interested in what we're doing though. He's trying to eat us. He's coming back here. His back's already out of the water again. Dude, stay over there, buddy. That's a 10 and a half plus. That's a big alligator. Need some help? How can I help you? Out the way. Dude, Jill. <laughs> Look at Tarzan right here. Look at Tarzan. Look at that man. Come on now. <laughs> Look at the right size out. of this thing. Meanwhile, the alligator is pissed at you. Look at that thing standing right there. Dude, nice fish. That's enough bait, huh? Oh, yeah. For carp, that's plenty. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look at the size of that thing. That is a solid. Why is it so fat? This is a fat one, huh? 27, 28 pounds, probably. Dude, that gator really wanted to eat you. That thing I is it. staring at us, dude. And slowly heading down this way. We all know what that means. That's a solid fish. You gonna hold it up or what? Yeah. Hell yeah. Got you with the cell phone. Hell yeah, dude. All That's right. a monster. We're gonna use this for bait for giant garfish, for giant catfish, for whatever else we can catch. That is insane. Chris, are we done fishing or no? He's gonna throw a cast net now. Look what's coming out underneath this thing. Dude, it's so big. This piping is huge. This is a big alligator. You guys can tell the back of it. Oh my gosh. This thing's trying to eat us for sure. That thing is trying to eat us. So yeah, we're gonna stay away. We're gonna keep on walking. Oh no, I wasn't filming that. Oh, it shit. just randomly jumped out, dude. The freaking buffalo. No, it just randomly jumped out of the water <laughs> completely. A massive buffalo. Damn. The gator's right there looking at us like, what's happening? For that gator to come jump. Grab you. <laughs> yeah. Come, <laughs> come megalodon you. Nice go. <laughs> that thing wants to eat us, dude. A hundred percent. That is a big fella. Look at this. Back out of the water. He hears me. He's like, that's my dinner talking. Now we got our bait. Look at that bait, baby. Big chunks. Big chunks. We're throwing it out. Let me get out your way. Hooey, hooey, hooey. We just dragged that thing a mile. Come on, baby. Some just jumped right next to you. Yeah. To your right, yeah. Don't get eaten. <laughs> Come on, survive. Got in his boots. Let's see it. Dang, that's a nice cast. Baba, let go. Dude. What? 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 We were here for 10 seconds. I don't even know how to get that. I'm looking for an angle. I'm standing on rocks. Are you hooked up right now? Oh my God, fight that thing. All right, guys, we're gonna see what it is. Let me get this off. This is insane. We're, what the heck? It feels pretty solid. Dude. Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's see, Chris. Dang, you just cast that out. Dude, look at that rod bend. That's a monster. We don't get giant catfish in Florida unless they're exotic. <laughs> Someone put them there as a pet. Released him as a pet. Lord have mercy. Come on, Chris. You got a hundred pound test on that, huh? Yeah. Dude, this is insane. We, he just cast this thing out. He's fighting this giant. You got him in the shallow water already? Uh, he's close. Oh, here he comes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's pretty big. That's a giant blue. It's got to be. Oh my god, Chris! Chris! Oh my god, look at the size of this! Oh, it's a whale! It's a legit whale! Holy hell! He's gonna be a 30 pounder. Oh, look at the nonchalant. He's gonna be a 30 pounder. 
Look at that thing. Oh, that is so sick. Two seconds hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Oh my god. Chris. What? Oh my god. The efficiency, dude. <laughs> Chris. Chris. This is insane. I've never seen this in my life. That was like catching a walking catfish or a cichlid in Florida. You you spoon fed that thing. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what happens when you get the prime bait, I guess. Chris. Chris. I am absolutely, oh, 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 don't want to drop that. That rock is not solid. Need some help getting that hook out? I just need the pliers. What a monster. Like, I shouldn't even have cut the camera off. He cut, he, how long was that bait in the water? A minute? A couple minutes. <laughs> Insane. The Dude, what are you looking for now? No, he does not have a scale. Chris, you're always prepared. Okay, he's hooking that up. 31, 32 on him. All right, let's see it. Pull that thing up, dude. Dang. 34. 34 pound monster, dude. You want a picture while you're doing all that? Sure. Here, I got you. Hold on. I got you, my brother. I got you. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. Hold on. Dude, that is magnificent. One more, two. Dude, that is ridiculous. That is huge. Oh my God, hold on, hold on a second. I gotta film this. Dude, what a giant. Chris, swam off strong? Not quite. Oh no, you gotta get him, Chris. Come back to life, I command thee, now. You give them a minute, they recover. I command thee. Come on. Come on. I command thee. I've had them roll around out here for 20 minutes while they finally recover and go down. So I we just go and give them a minute. I command thee. <laughs> so I'm off strong. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna get this guy. This is like a this is legitimately a whale. Look at the size of that thing. Oh Wake my up. god! Wake up. He's good now. Oh my god. He's Go coming back for way. more. He's gonna beat you up. Chris, run! Run for your life! You're going the wrong way, dummy. Oh my gosh. That way. What am I looking at here? Chris! That way. Oh my god, as the whale swims off into the depths. That was so freaking cool dude that was cool <laughs> that was chris that was a you're that's showtime dude you're insane give me some skin catch him up Woo! catch him up